Your superchiasmatic nucleus communicates its repeating signal of night and day to your brain and body using a circulating messenger called melatonin. Melatonin has other names, too. These include the hormone of darkness and the vampire hormone. Not because it is sinister, but simply because melatonin is released at night. Instructed by the suprachiasmatic nucleus, the rise in melatonin begins soon after dusk, being released into the bloodstream from the pineal gland, an area situated deep in the back of your brain. Melatonin acts like a powerful bullhorn, shouting out a clear message to the brain and body, it's dark, it's dark. At this moment, we have been served a writ of nighttime, and with it, a biological command for the timing of sleep onset. In this way, melatonin helps regulate the timing of when sleep occurs by systemically signaling darkness throughout the organism. But melatonin has little influence on the generation of sleep itself, a mistaken assumption that many people hold. To make clear this distinction, think of sleep as the Olympic 100-meter race. Melatonin is the voice of the timing official that says runners, on your mark, and then fires the starting pistol that triggers the race. That timing official, Melatonin, governs when the race, sleep, begins, but does not participate in the race. In this analogy, the sprinters themselves are other brain regions and processes that actively generate sleep. Melatonin corrals these sleep-generating regions of the brain to the starting line of bedtime. Melatonin simply provides the official instruction to commence the event of sleep, but does not participate in the sleep race itself. For these reasons, melatonin is not a powerful sleeping aid in and of itself, at least not for healthy, non-jet-lagged individuals, we'll explore jet lag and how melatonin can be helpful in a moment. There may be little, if any, quality melatonin in the pill. That said, there is a significant sleep placebo effect of melatonin, which should not be underestimated. The placebo effect is, after all, the most reliable effect in all of pharmacology. Equally important to realize is the fact that over-the-counter melatonin is not commonly regulated by governing bodies around the world, such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA. Scientific evaluations of over-the-counter brands have found melatonin concentrations that range from 83% less than that claimed on the label, to 478% more than that stated. Once sleep is underway, melatonin slowly decreases in concentration across the night and into the morning hours. With dawn, as sunlight enters the brain through the eyes, even through the closed lids, a brake pedal is applied to the pineal gland, thereby shutting off the release of melatonin. The absence of circulating melatonin now informs the brain and body that the finish line of sleep has been reached. It is time to call the race of sleep over and allow active wakefulness to return for the rest of the day. In this regard, we human beings are solar powered. Then, as light fades, so, too, does the solar brake pedal blocking melatonin. As melatonin rises, another phase of darkness is signaled and another sleep event is called to the starting line. This is an excerpt from the book Why We Sleep by famous sleep scientist Matthew Walker. To read more of the book, you can buy the book or if you like watching videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit like button so we can keep publishing amazing videos like this.